bringing soaps and suds and such and today I was bringing you here just to show you one of our homemade solitary bee homes we've put um, the bamboo tubes with paper in them they are lined and this is just an old carnation um, breakfast container that we painted and you can see that just been painted and also I wanted to show you up here if I can get up here maybe we've got a tube that's filled in if I can zoom in on it right there so they have filled one in down there at the bottom so that's a good thing and the coffee cup with the tubes in it, I'm not sure if anything has messed with it yet. You can see it. Okay, while he's painting that, I just wanted to show you my birdhouses or nests that my son 3D printed. These are 3D printed. And if you can see them, they fold right up, each one. And they've got the little place to put your little nail or screw right there and we just put them on a uh, piece of wood um, that our little girl stained for us and um, screwed them to this our building and we're hoping that the birds will make a nest in them but these are 3d printed if you can see where we put them well right here in this um, Japanese dogwood we have a nest if I can see it I don't know if I'm pick, picking it up hopefully hopefully I'm getting it but we have a beautiful little nest up there so I'm hoping that they'll go some will go in there and two guys you don't have to think that you have to go out and buy bees uh, solitary bees no you just need to put up a home for them you see that's just a coffee cup and you see he's going there's a little bee going in it well you know if you got bamboo growing anywhere or if you know somebody's got some bamboo that works perfect and then you just take some paper and roll up your little tubes I've got a video on how I do mine um, put that in there this file and I mean you know these are just native bees and um, some of the tubes have got green grass or leaves in there where they filled them up. But that's all you got to do. Give them a home. Sorry everybody the battery went out. But I couldn't zoom in I don't think enough to catch that bee. It looks like a yellow jacket. But here's the coffee cup. So that does work. And those are all our tubes that we did out of um, our um, bamboo. And my son brought to my attention that we have one right here that's filled in. And it has to be some sort of, um, like, um, oh, I can't think of what they're called, mason bee. It's mud. It's not um, done with leaves like the coffee cup. Okay, we've got an update on the little coffee cup. And we've got, they filled in this tube. This tube and this tube. Well, filled in this one too. And Let's then see. up at the top where we got something, we've got a bee. Looks like a yellow jacket. Well, let yeah. me see if I, I doubt I can zoom in on it. Hopefully, I'm picking it up. We've got several filled in in there. I hope I'm capturing those. There's a bee in that tube. This may be the guy that has been filling these tubes. I can try to. There he move. went. Did he come out? Yeah. The bee come out? I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't this guy. Yeah, there's one flew out there. 
It was something else. Hello, y'all. They are using the tubes. I'm not sure what he is. We don't still. know what this one is. If anybody has any idea, give us a, your opinion. But we got one that's filling the tubes. He went in beside that one. Right in here. See? Oh, I think you spooked him. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. He's, he's a green bee. There he goes. Okay. I think he's wondering what I'm doing. He just kind of looked at the camera. You need me to hold your hand? Uh, yeah, he's not that thing. Sorry, y'all. I'm shaky. Uh, I'm weak anymore. I'll try to prop you on. Only one tall enough to get a good shot. Yeah. There's him back on top. Yeah, I'm not sure what he's up to. I don't even know what he is. And that one's filling the tube. What kind of bee is it? Uh, oh, green it must bee. be some kind of leaf cutter because of the outside. It yeah. looks like it's leaves. Yeah. But it's not him. This one, we don't know what he is. It's not him. I don't know. This bee is well, We've seen kind of him in a tube, but if anybody knows, comment on the video. Yeah, that one's not filled to the edge like that one, but it is filled up, yeah. which is why you can't notice it whenever you're just looking. You have to actually look at it real closely. Um, we've been having spider issues around these houses. There's a spider that plays off of the how the house is built with the siding holes. He normally has a nest around here. And he preys on this house and this house. And we've been trying to kill him for a while, but every time you get to kill him, he uses this as a natural defense yeah, and runs into it. Knocking him down and trying to move him is not working. I just took a, uh, a stick. I saw he was out on his web, blocked his hole, and he fell onto the ground. So maybe now that he's not in that hole he's actually somewhere off the side of the house he'll go find a different location probably not but hopefully he is no he he's not hiding in his spot he's now off the building okay guys here's the next one you can see we've got this one filled in this one this one this one this one and there's another one and it's green one second, we can see if it's any more started. It's filled in green. I don't see any more started, but. but there you go. The coffee cup works.